This week, the Israeli government approved a $160 million plan to curb what it calls illegal immigration from African countries. According to many human rights organizations, however, the move signals the country's dangerous trend of criminalizing African refugees. FSRN's Jillian Kessler Damore reports. Chanting Sudanese go home, dozens of right-wing Israelis marched through South Tel Aviv Sunday night and demanded that African asylum seekers be expelled from the country. The march was held on the same day that the Israeli government approved a $160 million plan to curb the arrival of what it calls African infiltrators. A large portion of the money will go towards completing a fence along Israel's border with Egypt, the arrival point of many African migrants, and expanding prison facilities in the Negev Desert to hold asylum seekers and their families before deportation. The African Refugee Development Center in Tel Aviv estimates that approximately 27,000 African asylum seekers are currently in Israel, with the majority coming from Sudan and Eritrea. Since its creation in 1948, Israel has recognized less than 200 asylum seekers as refugees and hasn't formulated a clear refugee status determination policy, according to Sarah Robinson, the refugee rights coordinator of Amnesty International's Israel section. While Israel was one of the initiators of the 1951 UN Refugee Convention, it's never been enacted into domestic law. Israel has a deterrence policy. This policy, which explicitly says that its purpose is to deter the additional arrival of these individuals, not only violates Israel's international obligations, but represents a uh, severe violation of basic morality. Human rights groups also say that the Israeli government's stance towards African migrants ignores the challenges most face when making the journey to Israel through the Egyptian Sinai, where reports of violence, rape, and torture at the hands of local traffickers are widespread. Nick Schlagman is the humanitarian coordinator at the African Refugee Development Center in Tel Aviv. The journey to Israel has now become increasingly fraught with danger, where uh, a high percentage of those who are being smuggled across the Sinai Desert are held uh, in uh, kidnap and torture and rape camps in the Sinai. When they do subsequently arrive in Israel, uh, the detention system run by the Ministry of the Interior and the Army fails to provide any emotional or medical support for the victims. Presently, the Israeli government is pushing forward an amendment to its prevention of infiltration law that would bring in a minimum three-year prison term for refugees and their families. The government also wants to impose fines on Israelis who provide assistance to asylum seekers and on companies that employ them. Jillian Kessler-Demore, FSRN, Jerusalem.